That's Sean Dowling. S H A U N D O W L I N G. I'm actually from West Elgin, West Lorne, more precisely. It's a part of uh, municipality of West Elgin. Uh, it's about a half an hour west of London on the 401. A uh, small community, about 1,400 people in West Lorne. Um, another little town there is Rodney. It's also part of West Elgin. It's about 1,000 people, and I actually own property in both of those small towns. And um, I started uh, working down there back in 1989, and um, uh, we started redeveloping old buildings and putting in apartments and commercial units, and we had individual meters for each one. Uh, that way the tenants could pay their own bills with hydro, gas, and uh, water. And in 2001, because of the changes to the legislation, the local municipality decided at that time to change to the new legislation, which would allow them to collect tenants' arrears from landlords. So as a landlord here, uh, how many people from your community have come out to us? Uh, right now, tonight, it's my wife and I are here. We're representing West Elgin. And... Um, uh, what happened is uh, I've re received several signatures on a petition that was uh, circulated. Uh, Kayla Andre, the, who spearheaded the effort here, sent me a copy of the petition, so we've been circulating them in the area, getting very good uh, response. And um, my experience there has been that in uh, 2002, actually, 10 years ago, the municipality there brought the new legislation into their local bylaw, and it's really had a major impact on the landlords there because now tenants, even though the bill's in their name, um, by the time they move out, it's sometimes as high as $400 with disconnect fees and whatnot. So their, their deposit is only $200. we are left picking up the uh, tab for the leftover amount. And it's really discouraging to, um, to having sub-metered units. And... Uh, I just wanted to add from an environmental point of view, a lot of municipalities uh, want landlords to put sub-metering in to help conserve water, conserve uh, uh, the strain on uh, infrastructure for sewage treatment, and yet this sort of flies in the face of... Uh, I really hope that they would go back to the way it was prior to 2001. Um, you know, any time prior to that, uh, the tenant put down a deposit, they put the, high, the water in their name, and they were solely responsible as a consumer for that bill. Uh, the, this applies currently to hydro and gas utilities, and we feel it should be the same for water. Um, more recently, uh, uh, they've also started putting dog licensing fees for tenants on, which is, so it's kind of a slippery slope. We've started with the water, and now it's also the dog licensing, which has wound up on my tax bills. So I think if we keep going in this direction, it's a, it's a real slippery slope. We need to go back to the way it was prior to 2001. Great. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. That was great.